What's up guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode on the CPA channel or the ITP channel. Today we'll be looking at Scratch 2.0 and we'll be programming the drone game. Yes, we'll be working with Scratch 2. Alright, um, we'll be programming keyboard controls for this game. And we'll be looking at what is a sprite versus a stage. Sprites collision to get your scores and the variables score and timer. Okay, so let's start the programming now I have with me here on my desktop the sprites you can transfer this to your workspace it's for me I put this on my desktop you have to put this in your workspace right so as you can see there's a sound file over here the drone the backgrounds okay the parcel a pizza and trap and the scratch game itself which is already saved for you partially okay so what we're gonna do the objective of this game is for the drone to collect the two the parcel and the pizza while avoiding the trap okay when uh, these two objects have been collected 400 points total you will go get the game win background to appear if you touch a trap at any point in time you'll get a game lose and if the timer runs to 10 seconds you will oh, this is also the game lose condition Okay, so let's get start, started on the programming. So I'm going to open the Scratch 2. It's over here. Scratch 2. Okay, let's open up. So, now one of the good practices is to actually copy the address here. Copy, Control c close, and I'm going to file open. Okay, I don't have to search anymore. I'll just go here and Control v for paste. Right, I'm going to go to Drone Delivery. Open. Right, so as you can see here, stage reads here three backdrops. The backdrops are here, the win and the lose. So this is stage. So I've, stage is almost done. It's done for you already actually. So I'm just going to import the sprites. Okay, the import sprite location is over here. Import sprite drone first one. Okay, I'm going to import the next one, which is the parcel, the pizza, and the trap. Okay, so the pizza is going to appear at the right, up here, right up there. Okay, the bomb and the parcel Alibaba is going to appear randomly. And so is the trap. Okay, the drone is going to appear at the start of the game, at this corner here, somewhere at a fixed location. So now, let's program first and foremost the drone. Now, as you can see, there's a script where in the drone sprite, you can click on information, rotation, left, right, or stop. This is uh, the orientation. So at the moment, I'm just going to go to freestyle rotation. Okay, 360. So now to program the drone, which is very simple, we'll just go to control. Um, okay, sorry, events. Okay, right over here. I'm going to maximize this space so that I have a better, bigger working space. Now, press up. Okay, I'm just gonna point up. When the up arrow is key, press up. Can I zoom this for all the audience out there? Yes, I can zoom in. Okay, point up zero, and I'm gonna move 10 steps. Right, I'm gonna duplicate this. Left, right, up, down, just like the console controls in our Xbox 360 or PS4 right down okay I'm gonna just do some settings over here right point to the right step 10 steps down. left and left okay let's check it out what happens okay it's working fine now you notice that if I press down this thing is going to turn, flip around. So to stop this from happening, I'm just going to go to Info and I'm just going to go left and right that way. So it locks the drone to just move left and right. Okay, next I'm going to program the Alibaba parcel. Alibaba parcel. Okay. The good thing about this uh, programming is that we can duplicate the codes. Okay, we're going to duplicate the codes for parcel and pizza and trap 
just by programming the puzzle alone. So on click, I need to show it somewhere. Show. Now it's going to go to somewhere too. So motion, go to. All right, random location. As mentioned earlier, this object is going to go to any random location. So the minimum x, you can see here, I can just put my cursor over here. It's about actually 240, but I'm just going to go with 230. So minus 230 to 230. And the y is going to be actually 180. So I'm just going to keep it to 100, say 70 to negative 170, right, for the y. So for the x, it's minus 230, 230. So it doesn't go into the parameters, the corners, and this is about 170 to 170. All right, so let's test it out. Not yet. Okay, so it's looking fine. Okay, now what we're going to do next is if it touches the drone, right, it's going to... Okay, I've already set the score and timer. Okay, those variables, the score is going to change by 50. Okay, and it's going to play the sound. I'm going to import the sound. Ching. Ching. Right, I'm going to delete the pop sound. So it's going to play the ching sound and it's going to hide. Okay, this is for the puzzle. Right, so what you should do is you hide first. Change the score and play the sound ching. Or maybe we'll just um, hide and play the sound and change the score. Okay, so let's check it out. So I'm going to move. So this is the parcel, right? Touching the drone. So I'm going to move the drone and just let's see what happens. Hmm, nothing happens. Why is that? Now, what went wrong is that we should have put a forever, this one over here, loop. So it's going to forever check this condition. So let's try that again. Mm -hmm. Not working, so let's restart, stop, and start. Okay, let's refresh. Let's try. Yep, it's working good. So since this code is working, I'm going to pass over to the pizza. So now the pizza has the same code. So the pizza is going to go to the top right location. So I don't actually have to program. Since I like this location, I can just go to motion. I'll just pick up this location. All right. Just replace it over there, so 170. But let's keep the numbers to a nice rounded number, 180, so 125. Okay, once that's done, okay, done over there. Okay, so let's check it out, 50 and 50. Okay, notice that there's no sound pizza, so maybe I should, I wonder if I can pass the sound this way, pass the ching over to pizza. Yes, the pizza has a ching sound, so I'm just going to delete this. Okay, let's start again. Yep, it's working fine. Okay, the scores are not showing, so let's go to the scripts. Let's go to data. Let's show them up. Okay, notice the scores are 250, so what happened is actually we did not set the score to zero at the start, so this should be the responsibility of the drone. So, green flag start. It's going to show, let's look for the show, okay, show where, okay, set the score first, and we're going to set the timer also to zero, okay, show where, I'm probably just going to borrow the parcel to go to random location again, so I'm going to borrow this and pass it over to the drone, okay, it's just going to go to a random location. Okay, we are nine minutes into the tutorial. So, no, actually what I wanted to, where I should go is uh, to the bottom left. Okay, so it should be probably here, bottom left, 230. Okay, and the Y value should be, okay, let's test this. Should be there. Okay, the Y, let's build a fixed location to about... Minus 150. So it's right about there. Okay, so the x probably I have to go to minus 200 to 230. Okay, just that around that corner. It's a bit too much. So minus 220, which is nice. Okay. 
Now, the other responsibility for the hero, this time it's a drone which you are controlling, is to check for two conditions, the two losing condition and the winning condition. If it, um, if the score is 100, score is equal to 100, Okay, we're gonna broadcast game win. Where's the broadcast? Events. So sorry, events, broadcast, new message, game win. Okay. I think it'll be just fine. And I need to put a forever check. Okay. Now for the timer, I'm gonna put it over right over in stage script. So this guy is going to receive game win and game lose. So when I receive game win, and I receive game lose, I'm going to change my looks to you lose and you win, which is already embedded in the backdrops. Um, game start is going to look and go on to stage, right? Okay, now, as for the timer, I'm going to wait for one second. I'm going to change the timer by one, and I'm going to repeat this process ten times. So once this is done, if this is completed, if it's not done, so if it's done, if the timer is equal to ten, which is going to happen, all right, so it's just going to broadcast game lose. Okay, there, there we have it. Okay, but if you receive the game win earlier, so we're just gonna tell the game to stop all. So control, stop all, so nothing else will happen throughout the game, right? Okay, and game lose for the trap. Now the trap. Okay, the trap. We can use the same code as the pizza. Okay, if it's touching drone, it's not gonna play Ching. It's gonna hide. Right, but it's gonna also broadcast game loose. Okay, so we are done with the game. It should work fine. Or well, location wise, it's gonna be random also, so I'm gonna just borrow from the, the puzzle again. Pass it over. Sorry, pass it over to the trap. Okay. So there you go. The entire game. Location. Base and the timer. Okay, start. Two seconds, let me touch this one. 50, 50, the timer is running out. Yes, you win. Okay, now we probably want to hide this parcel. So, when I receive game win for the parcel, when I receive game lose or game win, I need to hide. Okay, and we can of course duplicate this for the rest of the other sprites by passing this code over to the other two. Okay. So in all games, when we do, are doing the programming, we should focus on the hero is going to focus on the winning condition or the losing condition. In this case, the losing condition is also taken care by the stage. But for the bonuses and the enemies, they are going to focus on touching the hero, which is the drone in this case. So it's a very short and sweet programming concept that you can use for your games. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video, do subscribe and do program and happy programming.